The LEGO Dragon Stone Shrine is an upcoming Ninjago Dragons Rising set that I got from LEGO early and I gotta be honest, initially it completely blew me away due to the concept and looks behind it all, but nowadays not so much. But before diving too deep into the main build, here's the minifigure selection. Six characters in total, out of which four have already been showcased in other LEGO sets. Lord Raz, for starters, prominent character in Dragons Rising, was seen before in Egg Alti Master Dragon set. Master Laloid in Jay's Mech battle pack minus the golden shoulder piece, Kai and Nia were showcased in the first wave of Dragon's Rising sets plenty of times minus the air pieces that can be sourced from other sets. Master Wu and Euphrasia though are all new characters here. Euphrasia, the elemental master of wind, has a neat outfit and comes with both the wood and air pieces, though Master Wu is a surprise to see here as in the show he was believed to be lost in time, but he might be making a comeback after all. There's no point in beating around the bush though, we're all here because of the Dragon Stone Shrine, which is pretty much self-explanatory given its naming and looks. The highlight is obviously the Stone Dragon and actually the reason why I've fallen out of love with the set. It's a bit too rough of a model and maybe that's the goal, but I don't know, I'm seeing way too many shapes and different types of elements that together don't make for a nice and clean model. On the face for instance, the upper jaw has tiles, curved slopes, cheese slopes and even the ingot elements on the side, the lower jaw jaw is kinda nice, but then as this obviously square tile on this side there sticking out way too much, this area above the connection of the arm once again with way too many different types of pieces, same with the elbow here, where a few different piece choices could have worked slightly better for the final look. But maybe that's just me. The water coming out of the mouth though was a very nice detail which gives the model a lot of charm. The use of olive green elements for the moss beginning to settle in the stone was also cool as were these three roots going around the base towards the pond. In it, some of my favorite printed tiles ever, just one of the koi fish versions though, and it's kinda nice how there's a small creek running down this corner here. Underneath all of these lies what most likely is an easter egg hidden by the designer, a golden lamp element maybe referencing the golden teapot of Tyran. This balancing boulder looks amazing, and even more so after you find out it actually has a play function, making it, well, balanced. The inner workings of the mechanism are so simple yet so effective, making it my favorite feature of the set. Now turning the model around we can kinda see that there's a lot more going on here starting at the base, where there's another crack in the stone where the water is pouring from. But this has living quarters of sorts, as in the ground floor there's a collection of scrolls here and a few extra items. Above, a table set for tea time with a sticker above featuring a location I don't recognize, perhaps a reference to an upcoming Ninjago set, and on the back wall a painting of Master Wu, a scroll and a dragon, which is all too mysterious. These books here, while looking pretty standard and nothing out of the ordinary, are actually a trigger to reveal a secret in the back of the stone dragon, a hidden black book with equally mysterious inscriptions in the cover and inside. It's now easier to see that the roots in the front are connected to the tree here that is organically growing around the stone shrine, leading to some beautiful cherry blossom foliage, and again, I'm not too convinced about the roughness of some of these areas of the build. But looking at it as a whole, I gotta admit that this thing is actually incredible. The whole idea and most of the execution of the model is brilliant, even more so when displaying this on top of a custom display base I got from LEGO for a cool Ninjago challenge I'm doing over Instagram. It's a shame that not a whole lot of people will be able to get their hands on this because it makes the Dragonstone Shrine set look 10 times better. Looks beautiful with the golden frame, lots of fallen leaves from the tree spread around everywhere, a few small stones and larger stone structures in the corners, with one having this Japanese bamboo fountain and the larger pond stacked with koi fish tiles. Without it, this set will retail for $120 and with its 1200 piece count it's somewhat decent. Not too expensive, but not that cheap either, though if you're not as nitpicky as I am, you'll actually love this because for the most part, the Dragonstone Shrine is probably one of the most beautiful LEGO Ninjago sets ever done.